Beg forgiveness. I pray you. Let me appraise your name for Aiden's life every day of what's left of mine. The Orange County man convicted for killing six-year-old Aiden Laos in a road rage shooting apologizes to the child's family just before being ordered to serve to 40 years to life in prison. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo in court for that hearing. She has more now. Miss Clooney, I am truly sorry for taking your beautiful son away from you. There are no words. It was an apology the mother of six-year-old Aiden Laos never heard. The grief-stricken parents were not in the courtroom when Marcus Ares was sentenced to 40 years to life in the road rage shooting death of the kindergartner. And I am so sorry for ever hurting him and for the pain that he went through because of me. He never deserved it and neither did his family. In May of 2021, Aiden was on his way to school with his mom on Highway 55 when Ares fired at their car, hitting the little boy who was riding in the back seat. Aiden screamed ow and told his mom his tummy hurt before dying in her arms. The manhunt for Ares and his girlfriend, Winnie Lee, who was driving, lasted for more than two weeks, drew half a million dollar reward and spurred this plea from the family. Help us find the people that did this to my little brother. He's only six, and he was so sweet. That pain was not lost on Judge King, who acknowledged the apology but wasn't swayed. He had the option under recent state laws to dismiss an enhancement that added 25 years to Eris's second-degree murder sentence for using a gun. King saying that neither his age, he was 23 at the time, nor childhood trauma explained his choice that day and gave Eris the full 40 years to life. You had the power. And the power was that handgun. And whether it was to impress your girlfriend, to release your anger, you fired. And that little boy died. Eris's girlfriend has been charged with accessory after the fact and is awaiting trial. The prosecutor calling the murder the type of case that haunts everyone involved. There is no way to express and there's certainly no way to understand the depth of pain. Uh, for anyone who was here that heard that 911 call, I don't think that's ever going to leave. In Santa Ana, Christy Fajardo, Fox 11 News.